Back to Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Daddy Bear came out to play. <laughs> being, uh, being a father, a parent at all, especially if you were bullied growing up, um, you're a little sensitive to it. You're like, you always have your head on a swivel. Like, I love my kids. I want them to be able to defend themselves. Uh, I'd never want them to be the aggressor. Uh, Mario's going to have no problem. <laughs> Mario's a tyrant. All right, that kid is going to have zero issue. And I don't think Colin's going to have a quote-unquote problem, but he is definitely a more sensitive boy. Mm -hmm. He uh, has a heart. He really wants to be friends with everyone, even when, like, a kid is not really treating him very well. Be like, but he's my best friend. I'm like, oh, buddy, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. We got to work on it. We were at a park a, a couple weeks ago and um, yeah, took the boys out. A park I'd never been to in Henderson before. And we met some really good people. And then a girl that's like, got like half a foot on my kid and is six or seven years old uh, befriends Colin. Hi, I'm Blah. What's your name? Oh, cool. Hi. Let's be friends. And mm -hmm. then they just start playing around the playground. I'm like, all right, cool. Have fun. And slowly but surely, I see that the the play is starting to leave the playground and is starting to head over into the general park area, like the big green space, mm -hmm. a little over the bump where I almost couldn't see him. How are your parents when it came to like leaving the house and kind of getting away from the house? Um, my parents were pretty strict with me. I mean... Um I don't know. Uh, they were they were strict, but in my hometown, like everybody knew everybody. I mean, you know, it was it was pretty small. So yeah, when when not when I was growing up, I was able to like I would go on my bike and I would be gone for hours at a time, not an issue. Uh, I used to have outdoor cats, not an issue. Now cats stay in if they go outside, they're going to die. Yeah, and you if I don't yeah, see I you for five seconds. <laughs> Amber alert. Yeah, I guess you're right. I do actually remember writing my mom a note. We, we had to come in when the lights when the street lights came on, right? And yeah. and uh, I remember my sister and I wrote a note because it had gotten dark and we were out on our bikes like maybe five or six houses down. And we lived in the, out in the country. So like, I mean, it was like maybe a mile away. Yeah. And uh, we were like, we're so sorry because we were in trouble. We got grounded because we were out when it got dark out. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you're right. You are right that it was a lot um, easier. Go times were easier. Yeah. They really like weren't, people, though. But I mean, the crime numbers back then, they were way worse. I don't know. But we, I mean, we people left their door it. unlocked and yeah. things like that, you know, but not now, for sure. We yeah. get bolts on every <laughs> lock. Try to get into this <laughs> fortress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm seeing, you know, him, he's just like kind of get out of my peripheral a little bit. I'm like, hey, call it. Keep it around here, buddy. Keep it around mm -hmm. here. But, and I'm talking to this, you know, lovely uh, to their sisters and pushing a kid on the swing. And I'm pushing Mario, but I just see peripheral. I see them playing. It's him, her, and like another kid. I think they were brother, sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I see this girl push my son over. And I don't react right away. Mm -hmm. I don't react. I like, maybe I'm just envisioning it. I say to the sisters, hold on one moment. I'm going to take a closer look here. So then I look, Colin gets back up. And they are kind of tussling. Mm -hmm. And then he, she definitely threw my kid to the ground. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I'm like, okay, so hmm, how long does someone have to serve time if they beat <laughs> up a seven-year-old girl? I'm trying to, like, figure it out. Uh -huh. I'm like, you know what? Maybe the risk is not did, worth the reward here. Did he get hurt? So I, I'm like, Colin, Colin, get over here. And Colin's like walking towards me. He's kind of like rubbing his collarbone a little bit. I'm like, Colin, you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, you're rubbing your, no, no, I'm fine. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, we were playing WWE. Mm. I'm like, yeah, no, you're not playing WWE. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, no, but we're friends. I'm like, no, no, too, a little too soon to be playing. WWE is something you play with kids you did not meet five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. There needs to be an understanding between both parties that we're not going to try to hurt each other. <laughs> right. Because we're going to see each other again, and I'd feel really bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I didn't say anything to the girl. I don't even know where their parents were. They may not have parents. They might just be vagrants. Who's to say? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I kind of just keep them around there. Who's a little disappointed that I did it, but I, feel, I felt like I had to step in. I don't know. I, I don't want to be like helicopter parent, but in the same breath, I don't want to see my kid get shellacked. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What would you do if you saw someone pushing Roman around like that? Um, I don't know if that would happen. 
I see Roman's more like Mario. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Roman's the pusher, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I will say there are <laughs> there are a little bit older kids. I'm going to say they are seven or eight years old. And if Roman's over at like the park in our uh, neighborhood, like, the, you know, the little just like, I don't know, dog area, not really, you know, just like a little patch of grass because we're in Las Vegas. So that's what they yeah. call the community park or whatever. <laughs> and there's a bench maybe. And they said, uh, um, Roman is trying to play with him. It's probably last year. So he's like just turned three years old and he's trying to play with them. And they kept telling him to go away, literally just go away. And so I was uh. like, so I let it happen a couple times and Roman just is three so he doesn't get it like go away so he just kept trying to play and they're like we said go and so I went over I was like were you three or ever or were you just born eight <laughs> do you remember when you were three and I told him I was like when you were three when you were little I bet that would have hurt your feelings if somebody didn't want to play with you yeah, yeah. so be nice to him he's not doing anything to you I was so I was so upset so but they're like known as like the like they're like just the mean kids around like nobody really plays with them just the two of them by themselves they come from the divorce family next Door to you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Which one? This is a broken house. Yeah. But yeah, I, I had to say something because he was too little to stick up for himself. But I think that like the older they get, the more they're going to learn like their own boundaries. Yeah. Colin, uh, so Colin and Mario, they were playing soccer yesterday. And when they're playing soccer, like they are the biggest fans of each other. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. They did so well last night. But Colin on the drive back from soccer was like recalling a time when he was at like one of those indoor ball pit deals and a kid said he didn't want to play with him. And Colin was so butthurt about mm -hmm. this and so heartbroken. I'm like, first of all, it's his loss. Second of all, don't you do that with your brother all the time? All the time. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, now you know how that feels. It kind of stinks. Huh? And he doesn't like make the connection. Yeah, that yeah, he does yeah. the same thing. Yeah. I'm like, that's called being a hypocrite. And he's like, what's a hypocrite? I'm like, oh, God, get, in, get in the bath. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nine o'clock. It's way past your bedtime. Just go.